Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. That's all I got. Hi. Wow. You look beautiful. Thanks. I was afraid you were going to chicken out. That's funny. She said the same thing about you. <laughs> Thank you, Candy. So are you sure this is what you really want to do? I'm sure. Are you? Absolutely. Okay, who's the lucky couple? <laughs> well, we're the ones getting married, so I guess it's them. Charlie. A joke. All righty, now before we begin the ceremony, I need both your signatures there and there. Okay. So are you folks staying in Vegas or are you honeymooning somewhere else? I don't know. What do you think, sweetie? Oh, uh, can I talk to you for a second? What did I say? Am I in trouble already? <laughs> Baby, I swear to God, I think we're the lucky couple. Charlie, I would love to honeymoon with you, but, well, I have to work, and, well, I think it'd be smarter to use the money to redo the house. Oh, I get it. You gave up trying to change me, so now the house has to suffer? <laughs> Look, if we're going to have a family, we'll need to turn the second bedroom into a nursery. But that's, that's where Jake stays. Yeah, but once Alan moves out, then Jake won't be staying there anymore, right? Alan's moving out? Of course he is. Isn't he? Oh, come on, Charlie. We need our privacy. But they're my family. I can't just kick them out. Or you could have said something before now. Who knew your idea of marriage was you and me alone in a house? I don't believe this. As long as I've known you, you've been complaining about Alan living with you. And you want to take that away from me? All right, deal's off. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, hang on. Uh, are you really serious about this? You love me, I love you. The sex is great. The sex is unbelievable. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? <laughs> I said the wedding's off. Oh, my God, what happened? It doesn't matter. What's important is I just avoided making a huge mistake. <sighs> Charlie, I, I am so sorry. Oh, thanks. Now let's head for a strip joint, get drunk, and let the healing begin. Uh, yeah, but, but, but before we do that, I was wondering, uh, could I ask you for a little favor? Yeah? Can I borrow your wedding ring? What for? Oh, I thought as long as we're in Vegas, I'd marry Candy. <laughs> by the powers vested in me, by the state of Nevada, I now pronounce you man and wife, you may kiss the bride. I don't freaking believe it. <laughs> Cheer up, Charlie. You're finally getting what you always wanted. I'm moving out of your house. <laughs> I don't freaking believe it. Steigt. Mach einfach mit. Oh, ist ja Wahnsinn. Ah, nur eine kleine Surfhütte, wo ich Bord, Bier und Bruder unterbringe. Wie brechen Sie heute, Bruder? Hm? Wie bricht wer? Der Junge raucht echt zu viel Pott. Ah. Die Wellen, Watson. Oh, die Wellen, die äh, Wellen sind äh, knorrig. Gut, lassen wir es knacken. Genau das habe ich vor. Geh ruhig vor, ich mach... äh, Hör mal, du Beachboy. Kurze Frage. Ja? Du kannst doch nicht surfen, oder? Überhaupt nicht. Und wieso denkt die Kleine dann, dass du ein Surferass wärst? Ich habe gesagt, ich hätte ein 30er-Brett. Das muss sie missverstanden haben. Du kommst in die Hölle, Charlie. Glaube ich nicht. Ich glaube an einen gütigen Gott, der kleine Lügen vergibt, solange sie zu erholsamem Sex führen. Willst du wirklich Gott da reinziehen? Wer gab mir den Penis, Alan? Seit wann hast du ein Wetsuit? Seit ich in einem Haus am Strand wohne und die vielen heißen Surferchicks gesehen habe. Wenn ich am Yellowstone Park wohnen würde, hätte ich einen Picknickkorb und würde einen Bärenanzug tragen. Kannst du mal aufmachen? Mhm. Oh. Upsi. Sehr elegant. Nur mal so aus Neugierde. Wie genau willst du das durchziehen? Ganz einfach. Ich paddle raus, rufe Hi und paddle wieder rein. Du hast es gut durchdacht? Genau, kein Idiot. <lacht> Upsi. Hier drüben hin. Was ist, Was ist denn passiert? Keine Ahnung. Da kam eine winzige Welle, ich ließ sie durch, er schrie wie ein Mädchen und fiel vom Brett. Ich musste ihn beatmen, er hat viel Wasser geschluckt. Hört er wieder? Ich denke schon, er hat versucht, mir die Zunge in den Mund zu stecken. Charlie, hörst du mich? Was? I've got a little surprise for you. Well, I've got a... What I'm told is a perfectly adequate surprise for you. You like? Oh, yes. <laughs> Your surprise has greatly enhanced my surprise. Oh, is that uh, whipped cream, or are you planning to shave me? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm fine either way. It's whipped cream, Alan. Oh, okay. Uh, Fat-free, because I'm trying to cut down. Relax. You're not going to be the one licking it up. Oh. Well, bon appetit. <laughs> Mom! Damn! Eldridge, why are you in school? <laughs> 
It's a half day teacher's conference. How come I didn't know about that? I don't know. Jake's gonna stay for dinner, okay? Uh, did he ask his dad? Yes, Mrs. McElroy. He said it's fine. <laughs> no, he didn't. He's totally lying. Shh. He's been lying a lot lately. Boy, you try to bring a kid up with some values. <laughs> <laughs> Like Charlie Sheen's house. <laughs> Alan. Alan. We got Stanford Island is not a good school. <laughs> Why am I face down on the back of the sofa in my underwear? Because I was kind enough to put underwear on you. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> Herb. Oh, that guy is out of control. Oh, this house is a mess. Maybe I should just cut my losses and sell it. Don't even joke like that. <laughs> oh, we're in a 